listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after show entertainment. Very good, the AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California, presented by Maria Menounos and Bing.com, and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is AfterBuzz TV's Awkward After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's After Buzz TV's Awkward After Show. Yes, awkward. <laughs> this is fun. Okay. Bing is for doing, we're doing a my first, and I think After Buzz TV's first ever after show for Awkward. Yes, awesome. <laughs> Uh, uh, Crystal is our, our host. We're welcoming a new host for, well, actually, for however long you want to be. You've I'm been here. doing great. Thank you, Thank for, you. for joining. <laughs> but um, now, uh, I just, I feel like, okay, like uh, uh, Isabel, who normally hosts also, got a text or she saw like a, a tweet. Yeah. Somebody said, I've been waiting my whole life for today because today is season two premiere of. <laughs> Awkward, and uh, while I'm not that crazy about it, I am excited. I'm like halfway there. Yeah, <laughs> I, I felt like you know we were going. To, we watched it in the, the little edit bay. Yeah. And I was so like like well, cool. We get to continue the story, and I, you know, a lot of people ask me because I was 16 and pregnant, and I was teen mom. What the hell am I doing here? Well, why not? <laughs> well, I don't. I don't really know. You're on the road to goodness. Yeah, I. I <laughs> I just, uh, you know, and I mean, I I don't watch all the, you know, because this is like a teenage girl show, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, that's okay. I'm not a teenage girl, and I still love it, so I appreciate having the male uh, okay. outlook well, here. Okay, <laughs> well, that was kind of what started with the whole 16 and Pregnant. It's like, you know, there uh, I saw the hosts were all girls, mm -hmm. and there was a little bit of male bashing going on, you know, <laughs> and so I, I think they invited me to do it one time, yeah. and so I kind of represented the male side and defended and you know, wherever it's was perfect. possible, because there's lots of bad baby daddies out there, <laughs> and lots of guys, like, in, and, you know, hopefully we will disagree, but lots of bad guys, like, I don't like Maddie anymore. I don't like him anymore. Um, he had a chance with me a little bit because of the date, that he took the girl, he took her to Reseda, took Jenna to Reseda. But yeah. anyway, um, let's start by talking about topic one because Phil told me I got to stay on track. <laughs> Christmas. Christmas. She gets what a merry opening too. Just the wall. <laughs> so I I love Christmas. It was just really, really, really well uh, laid out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was well laid out. And then uh, she got the, I mean, uh, you know, the gifts. The mom's gift was great. It was cute. Nice little diamond necklace. And the note. This is who you are. This is who you are. Precious. Precious to me. Precious to me. Which we don't disagree with. <laughs> right. We agree with that. It's just that uh, her mom has a very unique parenting style. Oh, she wants to be one of the girls. There you go. She wants to buy her love. She wants to be a girlfriend. This is vicarious living of her teenage <laughs> I've years, seen it. right? Through her daughter, because yeah. she didn't. Well, she get... was a young mom, right? Yep, she was a young so. mom, she, and so she, she, and she did. I mean, we know she had some fun because she was dead Stacy when her when she was in high school, and she oh, did lots yeah. of fun stuff. Remember? Yep. And she was obviously part and partying with Aunt Val. She wants to live vicariously through her daughter. But yeah, but the pregnancy happened early, yeah. so there's a lot that she didn't get to do, mm -hmm. and um. Yeah, and what did she say last season? She got instead of going to college, she got her boobs done. <laughs> yeah, I so, forgot about like that. Like this, she educated yeah. her her chest or something like that. I thought that was pretty funny. But uh, so, I mean, Christmas—that's our top first topic. But you know, the main, the significance of that gift was she's getting this gift with a note that says, "This is who you are. You're precious to me." But it's all kind of weird. Because she, you know, coming off of last the last episode of last season, she's realized that her mom is the one that wrote that harsh note. Yeah. Oh, it was such a bitter ending, too. I mean, I, my heart just cringed for Jenna. It was just terrible to see that the mom wrote that. And I, I, I knowing who the mom is yes. and how she is, we obviously know why, but 
where is your head? <laughs> in that no, moment. exactly. And, you know, it's exactly what that mom would do. Yeah. She would, you know, and it's, it's a wonder because she's got diarrhea of the mouth already. Yeah. It's a wonder that she just didn't say all that. Exactly. You know, like, how come you chose to put that in a note mm -hmm. as opposed to just telling her because you've said a bunch of other stuff. She nudges, too, with, yeah, in small ways. She gets to those points that she made in the letter, but not nearly as much. Yeah, she'll look at her daughter who just Ugh. got dressed and going to school and say, you're wearing that? Yeah. <laughs> and she's always on the phone talking about how she does her hair. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So, so this nice moment, really, once we know that the mom wrote the note. Mm-hmm. Then it's like we're just there's this tension and we're constantly watching for any of the interaction between oh, her yeah. and her mom. You and know? we're waiting to find out. Did Jenna confront her mom about it? Because they uh -huh. ended the season. We didn't know. So yeah. coming back, I mean, I, that was my first question was, does her mom know that she knows? Yeah, and exactly. And you know what? And of course, there we need to see that. Yeah. We need to see that confrontation because that's like the biggest thread through the whole mm -hmm. first season is this note, the biggest mystery, the biggest cliffhanger. Yeah. And um, and it really shaped a lot of yes. how Jenna developed in the last in the first season i mean oh my and, God. and how she is now so it's it, it's really it was important. such a big part of her of that year of her life yeah i mean she even ripped it up and then taped it back together yeah so it's like this is like she was basing a lot of decisions off what she thought this person thought about her you know and it was just a lot of guessing for her you know what thinking about it like that maybe it had the impact that her mom wanted it to have yeah you That's know? true. Maybe yeah, it actually it did way. it, even though the mom is constantly a source of criticism mm -hmm. and identifying her shortcomings in her mom's eyes. Right. It's like maybe this note in a sort of round, long way got, you know, Jenna, because now all of a sudden Jenna's got like her choice of guys. Yeah. You know, she Does is. She ever. She's dead <laughs> Stacy. I know. Uh, you know, like. At one point during the first season, I'm watching it, and you know, and she's really got this sort of mousy demeanor, mm -hmm. and you know, shy girl, not popular girl, but the guy who's the hot guy on the on the soccer team is totally after her. Yeah, and he's come, you know, he falls short of wanting a relationship with her, but he he did that. See, that's why he kind of had me as far as you know. I kind of I was a fan of Maddie for a while. Yeah. Starting Where, out, so was I, I would right. say. Right, because he would say, you know, you're beautiful. You wanted them to work out because yes. of how much she enjoyed Yeah, the she was the underdog. You know what I mean? Yeah. She, yes. She had this emotional fantasy, mm -hmm. and she was like, you know, fairy tale, you know, and she really was into him and wanted him to be into her so much. Yeah. And he, just when we thought that, he, you know, like at the, rest, the restaurant, that he was bringing her to some far place to hide her, turns out it's actually more significant than any old restaurant. Right. You know, and... And he's just, it just he had me there for me. I was like, you know, okay, I like it. But he was just always late in season one. He just, bottom line, he was late. Well, okay, so he was late. Yeah. But who, what's the, who sets the schedule? Like, to me, it was like the only reason why she and Jake had that one little, you know, uh, evening after the party where Maddie kissed the girl in the jacuzzi right. was because of a misunderstanding. Because, you know, or, or, I guess Jenna thought that Maddie was actually kissing the girl, which he was, but at all at the same yeah. time, he wasn't really, you know. I think every girl has the right, the, the need to feel needed and, yes. and the desire to feel wanted. So right. I think in that aspect, Maddie was late. He didn't, he didn't fill Jenna's needs in that sense. So she was questioning their relationship, questioning whether or not he liked her. She felt disrespected by him not being public with her. So True. I would have done the same thing. And he did tell her outright, no one can know that I like you. Yeah. What was that like the first or second I mean, episode? That's terrible. Yeah. Uh, and here uh, she has this guy who's, I mean, although he's Maddie's best friend, he's yeah. second best. So if he's showing her that she's so amazing and so special, then why not take the opportunity if it presents itself? Yeah. And, but of course, you know what? We have to question best friends because mm -hmm. they went a whole year. That's and, true. You know what I mean? Well, I mean, they're friends and they're, they're, you know, close guy friends, and they they obviously they talk to each other like they're best friends. They but say they they're best friends. Don't talk to each other at the same time. Yeah, but they didn't even it's, you know, which is wild to me. You know, he Maddie didn't share that he was in his girl, but that is that you know that's Maddie. Yeah, that's Maddie. He, you know, what is he trying to uphold here? Yeah, because uh, you know, 
as we find out, our next topic, the New Year's Eve party. Ugh. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she, <laughs> Jenna goes there with Jake mm -hmm. to Maddie's house for his New Year's Eve party. And they're, <laughs> they're half fist bump, half high five, little greeting is all awkward. Oh, of course, as it should be. <laughs> yeah, as it should be. It's like, okay, you know, what's going on? And she is... Uh, at that point, I feel like she's confused. Yeah. You know, like, I don't know. At this whole time, I've never felt like she's really that into Jake. Yeah, well, because she was so caught up uh, on the idea of Maddie, I think, yeah. because of how much she liked him from the beginning. And then, as we saw in season one, it was so hot and cold. And was she going to have him? Was she going to stand up for herself when he finally came around? I mean... Yeah, I, but, I definitely don't think she's over her feelings. No, she's not over it. And on top of it, the hot and cold existed. But you know what? When I look back, it's like it was only hot and cold on her side. His was just kind of just this lukewarm thing lukewarm, the whole time. Yeah, I was going to say. You know, <laughs> like he never, he just never had any extreme. He was yeah. just in the middle. But and why? she was just boom, boom, boom. I think that he, that's where I say, why is there a schedule? Why, yeah. why are we saying he's late? He might be late on Jenna's mm -hmm. schedule, but he's not late on Maddie's schedule. Because, but what's you know, holding him back is what I'm curious um, about. I think it's probably lack of experience. Yeah. Uh, you know, and social fears. <laughs> being in yeah, high school. like in other words, he doesn't know enough about uh, you know different relationships and different experiences to know whether he should commit to this girl. Yeah. Right. And and I think that's true. Sh she doesn't. You know, she's never had the outward appearance of like the most popular hot chick on the campus. I mean, no, oh, she, yeah. she dresses down, you know, we know from her mom that she's done, <laughs> you know, remember how many times her mom brought out some skippy things? How about this? <laughs> like, oh my God. You know, and didn't they, didn't they tape? I feel yes. didn't, in season one, they taped yeah, her boobs, at the party, right? right. Oh, well, man. What, before that, <laughs> the mom held up a dress that said, oh, you could wear this and look, there's no back, so you don't have to wear a bra. <laughs> and they're like, but why would I, you know, wear, she's all, that's great. That's <laughs> no bra is good. You know, do it while you can. And I was like, <laughs> yeah. anyway, um, but yeah, at, when, when they had the party, when Aunt Val came over yeah. and they had the party, that's when they looked at her and was like, okay, we're taping those girls up. They turned her upside down, wrapped her in duct tape. That's right. And then later, remember Aunt Val, when they were, woke up. And Aunt Val was next to her. Aunt Val was all taped up too. Uh, I don't remember yeah, that. Yeah, she had no, the I do, I do. Too. Oh, that was ridiculous. So that was funny. And mm. so, uh, good old Marissa movies reminded me that I got a <laughs> break sometimes to to pay the bills. And so, if you have to go buy duct tape to tape up your girls, you can buy duct tape at Amazon.com. And uh, that's one of the ways that you can help us. We all volunteer here. We do it because we love it. We have fun with the show. We had a blast watching the show. Me and Crystal were laughing and commenting <laughs> during the show so much that we've you know the half hour show took us 45 minutes because we kept rewinding it but you guys watch because you like hearing us talk about it and you can help us keep everything going uh in a very easy way if you buy something from amazon all you got to do instead of just going straight to amazon first go to afterbuzztv.com click on the amazon banner that's on our home page you'll see it there in the upper right uh it will take you directly to Amazon where you can go ahead and proceed and purchase and use your account. Anything you do is the same after that. Prices are not higher, but when you buy something, we get a nice little referral fee. Uh, we get money that goes towards keeping everything going here. And so we that is probably probably the the most effective or most meaningful thing that you know someone can do. Like that's really, yeah. really helping. So um, easy too. So easy Just one step. to do it. <laughs> Takes a minute, tell a friend. Yeah, yeah, but Mar Marissa's <laughs> clapping, not for me, but for her effective sign holding. Um, so the New Year's Eve party is packed full of all kinds of stuff. Crazy Lissa. Crazy Lissa. I mean, she is just... Um, she's pretty funny, though. Oh, she's great. <laughs> we don't want her to go anywhere. No. We want her to keep making those little cameos. Keep up with her crazies. <laughs> popping in and saying, I figured it out. I need you to slap me. And then we're even, eye Old Testament eye. even. <laughs> yeah. I'm going, okay, <laughs> you know, and she is the funniest, like, 
she's got to be the sluttiest religious dresser I've ever seen <laughs> yeah. with and drinking. And she's okay with it because she's just too dumb to know. I just, yeah. I'm sorry. Or maybe no, no, not. no. No, you know what? The, the cool part about now, the fact that we're talking, you know, we can say some stuff about yeah. characters because they're characters. Uh-huh. As opposed to our other reality show where, you know what? We actually, <laughs> we recognize the real reality. Mm-hmm. And so we show a little sort of, you know, uh, we, we hold back a little bit yeah. you know, with our comments. Like, you know, even maybe in this show we hold back <laughs> a little bit. You know what? We're gonna need to, we're gonna need to see the comments. We're gonna need to see the YouTube. Yeah, and I the, agree. The iTunes comments on After Buzz TV. Okay, here's what here's what I'm doing. I'm gonna say that right now. So uh, another thing that we as hosts really appreciate is feedback from you guys. And I want I'll make a commitment to our re, our listeners as a review <laughs> that there is a topic. That was glaringly obvious to me, <laughs> and I brought it to Chris's attention. She's like, "You know what? That Eye is popping. glaringly obvious." Yeah. And we questioned whether we were going to talk about it, and I I will talk about it based on what I see in the comments. I think that's, that's a do. great deal. And I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not saying no? what it is. Glaringly obvious. <laughs> so if I see in the comments, I'm going to come back. I'm talking about. There's a teaser. Tears a teaser right there. Okay. Um, so uh, she's at the New Year's Eve party. Jake and Maddie are there, whatever, doing what they're doing, opening beers, pouring liquor in the bowl. How many parties do these kids go to? And they are how many years away from 21? I know. Red cup, right? And okay. Good to go, I guess. But it's like, it's not, now there's been parties at uh, who's. Uh, not Sadie's house. Whose party was the pool party, the small one? Was that whose house was that? I thought it was Sadie's house in was season Sadie? one. Huh. I don't remember whose house that was. With I the, thought it no, was. no, no, no. Was no, it Lissa's? It was Lissa's because was Lissa's. Sadie told her don't turn a jacuzzi yeah. on because yes. she didn't want to be in a bathing suit. You're right. Okay. Right. So there's alcohol at Lissa's party. Yep. There's alcohol at Maddie's party. There's alcohol at Jenna's party. <laughs> there's a lot of alcohol at Jenna's party. Uh, I don't even remember. The one thing at Sadie's house was last season when they had that. Uh, uh, the knock nick knockers oh yeah it was nick knackers the, the thing. formal thing yeah yes yep. um i don't know if the kids were drinking there or not i don't recall yeah i don't recall that but um whoa <laughs> i mean it's mtv <laughs> yeah i just didn't know it was like that so anyway so the guys are putting together the alcohol in the bowl the punch bowl or whatever and maddie is interrogating jake yeah what are you doing over the break huh. hmm what have you been up to? Hanging yep. out with Jenna? Did you hang out with <laughs> Jay Hamilton? Yeah. And, I mean, he, he's almost... I, just don't, I don't know why they don't talk about it more openly. If they're supposed to be the best friends that they say they are, this is getting back to the fact that they don't talk about certain things. It's just... Exactly, because, yeah. you know, for Maddie, we know that probably the reason you're talking about it is because he doesn't want anybody to know he likes her yet. Yeah. But Jake doesn't have that issue. No, and see that's see that's why I say I think it was good of Jenna to move past Maddie. He was late. Jake wasn't embarrassed, nor should he have reason to be of being with Jenna. So, how about this? Refresh my memory from season one, if you can. Mm-hmm. At what point did Jake realize that Jenna and Maddie were in, in a thing? Oh, that's a good question. I right, can't... because it's important because actually Jake is the one that first told Maddie, you know, when yeah. he, when they were uh, being waiters, he's mm-hmm. like, I kissed Hamilton. You know, I kissed Jenna. And then Maddie was like, you know, whoa. Yeah, and he did it because he was he wanted to tell this right. big thing to and his then best he's, friends. Yeah, right, he and he's no asking idea. his friends, so should I text her? It was right. awkward, it was weird, should I do this? You know, so there, Jake was being, treating Maddie like a friend, telling, sharing with him, yeah. because Jake doesn't have the issue of embarrassment of Jenna. Mm-hmm. But when did, was it, was it at the party at the end? Uh, was that the first time that Jake was saw that, oh, her and Maddie were something? I really can't remember the exact moment. Or does he not even still not even really get it? I don't even know if he still knows because, I mean, at the end of this episode, remember, Jenna didn't even touch on the fact of who she had lost her virginity to. So That's true. Yeah. Yeah, you know what? I guess Maybe he, he's just kind of, it just is over his head completely. Yeah, there wasn't, not enough was revealed at that last, that the dance for it to be an issue. Okay. Um, Because that, that's, that's important. That's an important plot piece. Uh, That's why I wanted to make sure to get that right. Um, Oh, you know what? I I wanted to say also, uh, in in line with uh, the comments and stuff on iTunes and reviews and YouTube as well, 
is Phil has written up there the podcast app. So there's a new app. I actually haven't downloaded it, tried it myself yet, so I don't know <laughs> all the things that it does. But apparently Apple has a new podcast app for you to download, install, and use on your iPhone and iPad. So um, I mentioned that so you guys are aware, and you can go do that and then try it out with our podcasts. Uh, subscribe, comment, rate, please. Um, okay, so Jenna actually overhears them talking, yes. Maddie. But <laughs> just when she's about to hear some the answer to the question or whatever, when Maddie says, are you guys together to Jake? Aunt Val calls. Perfect timing. She's her New Year's Eve date is abandon her or whatever. <laughs> and oh my God, with her leopard print Bluetooth she's thing hanging out of her wild. ear, like <laughs> crying and driving and First Being time, counseled by yeah. poor Jenna, <laughs> who needs the counseling herself. <laughs> oh my God, just needs to like, Aunt Val, don't call me. Like, why did she even answer it? I know. You know, it's her. I guess she thought maybe it was an emergency because yeah. she said, Aunt Val, what's up? You never called my cell phone before. Or she needed a distraction. Wow. Oh. Could be. Yeah, it could be. Well, um, so at this point, then Jake says, no, we're not officially together. Mm -hmm. But what we don't know we find out a little bit later is that Jake actually has wanted and asked her mm. for them to be together. But at that point, like, that's why I was thinking, does he know something's up? Because he's hesitant with the information. Right. And so I'm wondering, does he know, that, you know, but no, he doesn't. Oh, yeah, I don't think he does. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't. Um, and, you know, all while this is going on, there's flashbacks to, to Ming and Tamara in the party. They're so funny. They're such entertaining friends of Jenna. Yeah, yeah, and 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 Sadie as well yeah. is at the party. Can't forget Sadie. Sa can never forget Sadie. <laughs> you know, you know what? As far as the entertaining aspect, Sadie and Tamara are like right up there. Yeah. You know, um, I could probably I could probably watch each one of them and not get tired. <laughs> you know, Sadie is just like, but her character is changing, mm -hmm. right? Internally and externally. Internally, externally, yes, <laughs> which they addressed on the show, so we're yeah. free to say that, you know, and then even in the, the when you go to mtv.com, you mm -hmm. look on the website, you see she's slimmer than she has been. Yeah. But that was the strange thing about the first season, is you had this girl who not only, you know, not only was, like, heavy. Right. Or overweight, whatever you want to call her, but the characters made fun of her. Mm -hmm. But she had this air about her and this confidence like she was the queen of the school and she was going to get the hot soccer player, Maddie. And it was just a matter and everything. And she was pulling it off. Yeah. Well, as we learned in season one, she obviously had a lot of insecurities with her weight. So yes. as a female, I see that as her way of distracting people from the physical appearance of her. She's going to have that attitude, you know? Oh, She's man. going to boss people around so they pay attention to that instead of yes. what she looks like. So. And she did it very well. Yes, so witty. It's yeah, just, she did it very funny. well. Uh, very well. <laughs> um, yeah, she has some classic lines that we will never <laughs> forget. But here she is at this party, and it's like she is desperately holding on to Lissa. Yeah. It's like, okay, Lissa is the the dense one that she can control with her words. Which I had kind of forgotten about from season one. So it was nice going into the premiere of season two, seeing them butt heads so much. It was just... Oh, yeah. I'm wondering what Sadie's going to do on her own now. Oh, and my... She doesn't who, really have... Look, who knows? But she is so desperate. Like, it, towards the end last year, uh, Lissa was talking about God or something, and Sadie was like, you know what? You should stop listening to God and listen to me. <laughs> yeah. She's all. What do you mean? Well, uh, do you, you know why would God let allow Jake to kiss Jenna Hamilton? I forgot about that. <laughs> Jenna Hamilton, or she called her. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so yeah, Sadie comes in and is talking to Alyssa and trying to do the same old sort of control mind control thing that she's doing, and you know, and saying, you know, you're uh, what was the word she used? She said, oh, the way you're acting is like insubordination, you know, <laughs> to me because that's not how you're supposed to act, and. Uh, Lissa is just, you know, she's just kind of, you know, sitting Not there. It, yeah. It's all <laughs> in her own know. world, really. Yeah, she is As totally, she is. <laughs> totally in her own world. But the the really interesting thing is that it's like to me, Lissa is the last one for her. You know, all of her negativity, all her other yeah. stuff. Yeah, because she's the only one that really put up with it, with brushing it off, because it was just over her head for the most part. Yep, she is the only one left. Yeah, and um, so. Jenna doesn't get to hear Jake say, no, we're not together. 
But it doesn't matter because she knows that there's a pending request. Right. Jake has said, I want to be online official with that. I forgot whatever that paid that website. They, <laughs> what's really just Facebook, but yeah. on MTV <laughs> or MySpace or whichever MTV one. MTV book. MTV book, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, so we, you know, we find that Jake has officially asked her to be online official, which I think that's a great term. Mm-hmm. Um, and so we approaching midnight for the midnight for the kids. And there's a little drama, like okay, because oh wait wait wait, Maddie and her the oh confrontation, oh like God. the biggest most. Ooh. Okay, this is where this is where now I'm completely team Jake, even though I don't think Jen is all that much into Jake. But if you have to choose between Maddie and Jake, Maddie, at this point, he has uh, Jen is still desperate for closure yes. to understand what's going on with Maddie. I think because she still would. I mean, she even says it straight up to him as yeah, she's standing behind him. You know, I need closure. I don't know about you, but. Yeah. And then. Are we good? Yes. <laughs> and then we see like this new Maddie. Yeah. <laughs> and initially I'm thinking, right on. That's how you do it. You yeah. say, no, we're not okay. I want another chance with you. I mean, that's awesome. Except <laughs> what he whispers to her because uh, they come back from commercial and she's like, you want another chance? Um, but I came with Jake. <laughs> he's like classic finish to this line too yeah he's like listen don't worry about jake he's like, i'm gonna tell jake he's gonna understand when he finds out <laughs> he's gonna understand you when came he with out. jake but you can leave oh no you can stay sorry with me yeah. something like that yeah it was <laughs> oh good, that though. wasn't gonna see i'm not a girl but, but, i didn't i didn't pick up on how good that was <laughs> oh it was really good oh. you, can, you came with jake but you can stay with me <laughs> which was immediately followed with maddie then almost blackmailing Jenna in that moment. I hated that. I mean, here he is finally coming out and finally putting his foot down and saying, Jenna, I want you, be with me. Uh huh. Oh, by the way, if you don't want to be with me, I'll tell Jake. So. Oh, hell to the no! Oh, hell to the no. <laughs> so yeah. there's the blackmail and he's saying, and by the way, and also he'll understand. Yeah. And this is when, and you know what? The blackmail part I didn't really get. But that's what I took from it. At yeah, least. this whole thing is like this. It's like some kid who threw away his toy yeah. and because he didn't want it. And then some other kid took it out of the trash can. And he's like, I want my toy back yeah. when he sees the other kid playing with it. I mean, it's just I this. Hate that. Yeah. So and then but he's even he even says it. I'm like, dude, it's to me, he's a jerk. He is, and a, a lot of teenagers. I mean, it's it's just typical of teenage boys and teenage girls even to want what you can't have. So it just, yep. of course, it's convenient for him to come around now, right when Jenna has moved on and she's moving into the new Jenna, and yes. it's just typical. He I don't said, approve. He whispered, leans in and whispers in her ear. And to me, it was like the whole scene when initially when he's his face is in the fridge and she says, "Are we good?" and he says, "No," like. <laughs> Everything's good. He's got a halo still. Boom. <laughs> yep. And he's like, I want another chance. Halo. And he's like, uh, uh, you know what? If you don't, you know, come be with me, I'm going to tell Jake. And by the way, he'll understand when I tell him. And she's like, when he knows what? When I tell him that I was with you first. Yeah. And I'm like, halo's gone. Horns and are And then out. it also becomes a game because he's trying to just have one up on Jake, it seems. And I don't, I don't like it. You know, I, okay, oh. okay. So, uh, good TV. <laughs> Very good. TV. Good TV because they, they, you know, they got me on a roller coaster with Maddie. Yeah. Um, because there's, she's so attracted to Maddie. Mm-hmm. She didn't even look at Jake. He was in her face in season one. Yeah. In her face, saying, thinking that he, she was talking about him, and then kissing her. And anyway. Uh, she. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like she's just with Jake because she can be. Yeah. And because he's not ashamed of her. I think she's with Jake, doing stuff with Jake because of what he's not. I, I think that she feels that it's the right thing to do. Ooh, so boring. <laughs> boring, but it seems to be making her happy as much as she's questioning it. Nah, she's I not happy. Know. I think she's she like, is. She, she's not happy. She's just not unhappy. Right. That's a good way of putting it. You know what I mean? Touche. It's like it, <laughs> like she's with him because of what he's not. Yeah. He's not the bad things that Maddie brings. Right, right. 
You know, like if and he's not embarrassed by her. Number one, yeah. I mean, it's it's not a secret. They're out in the open. He left uh, Lissa for her, so it's it's fine. I think that Jenna could totally like at any moment say, you know what, Jake, I don't think I want to be with you anymore. Yeah, like she wouldn't have a problem telling him that. Yeah, she wouldn't. She's like, it, that's what I'm saying. She's not into him. I don't I don't see anything it for predictions. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Um, oh, oh for, well, we we talked about the Christmas presents, but one of the presents was the whole condom thing. Uh, was it a box of condoms? It was a box. It was a giant Costco box of condoms. It was a giant Costco box. What yeah. the heck is he doing? I don't know. I mean, I guess, you know, he'd be safe. Apparently, it wasn't his first time. But he's expecting her to be really safe. Yeah. <laughs> like, you're really safe. Uh, yeah, the, that's even weirder. <laughs> um but okay so what was next so then i then we saw oh we're because we have you know the show we, that's one of the comments we were making we're like is the show over we have so much fun <laughs> we love watching the show and then it's over before it so starts like that. <laughs> but we're totally cool with that yeah like we got a lot of good stuff in the show yeah so the next topic that i have down is what i call the real new jenna mm -hmm. which is the jenna that decides you know what because Jake asked her, what are your New Year's resolutions? I'm going to give you 15 minutes. Yeah. No, oh, this is, I'm sorry, I'm thinking of Maddie. Uh -huh. And I, for me, New Jenna is at the end of the 15 moments, moments, the big finale at midnight. She's kind of proclaiming who she is. Oh, man. So Maddie gave her 15. Year. Yeah. So he's in the garage. He's waiting. Yeah. <laughs> and then we've got the dramatic countdown. <laughs> And then we see the dark figure coming into the garage. <laughs> and I actually, at that moment, you know, MTV got me. I thought it was Jenna. Yep. Oh, I didn't. I okay. didn't. I, I did until I saw, I'll put it like this, because they showed Maddie and the dark figure coming first. Yeah. And I didn't know they were going to flash back and forth to Jake. So I thought, oh, she's going to go be with Maddie. <laughs> Which, to be honest, I still kind of wanted her to. Not because, I don't want her to because he's a jerk now. Yeah. But I wanted to because... It seems like that's what she wants. Yeah, deep down. You know? It's I was happy she didn't. Yeah, you I guess... it's going to come eventually. I guess you got to be happy that she didn't. Yeah. Um, I don't know. The predictions are going to be huge here because yeah. something's got to change. But <laughs> it's drunk Sadie, or partially drunk whatever, <laughs> sit, sits down and knows that he's sulking over <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> You know, he's sitting there and he's just whatever, being pitiful uh, for no good reason because he's not really that into Jenna. He's right. doing it because it's something he can't have. He's like what you said. And she ends up saying, are you dumb? You don't see that I've had a crush on you all this time? Which I love that they had Sadie just blurt it out. At, yeah. It's such a great moment, too. So. Yeah, well, and to me, she is sort of on this sort of downhill thing where she's changing. Yeah. She's desperate. She's lost Lissa now. That's true. And so she doesn't care. She's going to tell Maddie. She's going <laughs> to tell him out. And he was drunk, right. so maybe he won't even remember. And he was drunk. As he stated. So. As he stated? Opportune Dude, moment. <laughs> yes, that is like disclaimer. First of all, before you come into the garage, I want you to know I'm intoxicated. Whatever happens, not my fault. I can deny it all later. Now go ahead and say what you're going to say. So she says, I had a crush. She's complaining and talking, and boom, he kisses her, and the clothes start coming up. Ugh. To the kiss, to the kiss. They just, yeah, they were they were making out. Yeah, clothes were coming off, um, and he takes, he takes <laughs> she takes her shirt off. She's a bra and underwear. He takes his shirt off halfway, and she sees looking at his chest. She goes, "Oh my god!" She's all excited, and then he is passed out. Yeah, which of course. He can only be woken up by a booby shimmy. <laughs> that's what every girl does yep. with a passed out man. <laughs> she put him on the glass and it didn't work. No, there was nothing. <laughs> nothing. Um, and she, in desperation, and oh, and not to be un under, you know, done here, poor Tamara, <laughs> Tamara, who's finally, oh, you know, yeah. given their, her guy another chance. Oh my God, when is she going to wake up? He said he was at his grandma's. He's at the party now. He's talking to another girl. But he says, oh, I was just coming to see you in a minute. And then 
<laughs> she walks away to what? Go get a drink or something? Uh, wash her mouth out. Oh, yeah, that's right, because they were going to kiss for midnight. Yeah. And she had... Oh, <laughs> my gosh, she's got so many issues that get in the way. Um, and then... Um, desperate... Sadie comes out and grabs the first guy she sees, which is T Tamara's guy, and kisses him. <laughs> and he's into it, and he's like, that was awesome. Which is, no, he said that was... Oh, yeah, she completed it. It was him. awesome. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. She gave typical, the you're welcome. Typical. That, typical. But I thought she was going to actually keep kissing him until Tamara came back. Yeah, I was waiting for the camera to turn and Tamara to be freaking yeah, out. But... They'll probably do that later. Yeah, we'll find out. We'll probably see Someone that. saw, of yeah, course. Yeah, exactly. Just like they did at the party when we found out how she saw Jenna kissing yeah. the guy or whatever because it was in the next episode. Um, so New Jenna. New Jenna decides kiss Jake. Jake says, what are your New Year's resolutions? She decides she's not going to have any. Good for her. Yep. Yeah. She's going to let the year happen. Work on new Jenna. Which letting your happen is exactly what we'd expect for a, a new season. Yeah. We're going to let the new season happen. We'll see what happens here. Um, Maddie's passed out. He didn't have sex with Sadie, but he was gonna. <laughs> oh, my God. They were going to do it in the garage, New Year's Eve. I'm so glad they didn't. <laughs> I don't know. Boy, so can you imagine reasons. Sadie after that? No. She would have oh. been walking around with her feathers out. That would have been it. That oh Story my god, over. Jenna that would have been a created monster. Yeah, oh. she would have been running everything. But after of that. course, you have to just assume that Jenna, at some point down the road, is going to find out that they kissed at midnight and just be totally grossed out. I don't. You know what? Maybe, but I'm not so sure it's going to matter. Yeah, I'm not so sure it's going to matter. He's drinking. Cause the, what? 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 Are, I mean, what's she going to be mad about? Like, it was meaningful. Like he likes Sadie. I don't yeah. think so. I don't think so because she might just be disgusted. He maybe. Yeah. He looked at Sadie. Remember, Sadie would would be flirting with him all the time. Oh yeah. Like in the you know first season. Yep. He looked at Sadie to me the same way Jenna looked at Jake in the beginning. Oh, that's harsh. Right. It was like there's nothing there. But kind they kind of did start out with that plot line between uh, between Maddie and Sadie. They really did. You wondered initially. I feel. Really. Yeah. At least I thought. I don't know. In the beginning of season one, yeah. they, they, it wasn't as. Um, there, there wasn't as much dislike on Sadie's part from oh. Maddie. Oh well, yeah, it, no, it was more uh, cluelessness. It was yeah. more ambivalence. Like to me, when Jake was all in Jenna's face, you know, when he first started liking her, yeah. it's like she wasn't picking up on any of the signals. Right. He's sitting there saying, "So he goes, wow, I think the guy would be really lucky <laughs> if you told him that you like him. Yeah. I think he's probably into you." Yeah. Because remember, he was thinking that she was yep. talking about him. Yep. You know, she's like, yeah, I like a guy, but he's got a girlfriend. <laughs> uh, so she just wasn't getting any of that vibe. Mm -hmm. And that's what I felt like uh, was happening with Maddie and Sadie. She was like all in his face, like, hey, you know, uh, McKin McKibbins. <laughs> um, and, and he was just like, hey, listen, we'll talk about that later. Okay, bye. Yeah. You know, he just wasn't getting it right. at all. Um, okay, well, so the new Jenna... Com the new Jenna's creation is completed. She's opening up with a bang. With a bang. By, oh my God, so just cold. Walking by her mom. Mom's on the phone. Yeah. Gives her a note. You got mail, mom. <laughs> it's on the letterhead, and it says, this is who you are. Yep. Like, I don't even know. I don't so even know, powerful. Yeah, I don't even like it. It's yeah. like mean. And like you said, I mean, I think it was so great that they just laid it all out on the table in the first episode. Let's yep. get it out. Let's deal with it. Let's have it be a story throughout the series. I, I like it. We were all looking for yeah. how is this going to happen. Yeah. We would have probably been disappointed if we had to wait. And, of course. You know, so I was glad the writers gave it to us right there. And how long can the mom really work to get Jenna's love and affection, you know? So. Exactly. No, it was it awesome. It was awesome. I thought it was the perfect way to do it. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, it now it makes us uh, question how much we like Jenna. At least to me. Oh no. Oh I... yeah, yeah. Because see, we, we I, I like seeing somebody stand up for themselves right. and fight back. But at the same time, that's your mom, dude. But it's interesting because her mom treats her like her best friend and she yeah. tries to have that friendly relationship so would it really have made as that much of an impact if jenna went to her as a daughterly figure and said mom i need to talk to you and just tried to have a mom moment you know because of how her mom is i like mm. how she handled the situation okay good point you got me on that one <laughs> like 
you know, what else is she going to do with that type of mom? Yeah. Except in your face, mom. How else am I going to get it across that I'm upset? I'm extremely torn apart by what you did to me. Yeah, you know so, what? True, because I want you to hurt. A yeah, because bit of the way halfway through her first sentence, trying to explain it to her mom, her mom would interrupt and go, "Oh, don't worry about that. You don't have to. You just need to get a new yeah. shirt. You just need to get your boobs done. You just need to, you know." Exactly. So she would just try to dismiss it. Okay, so uh, let's. We're going to go to commercial, and then we're going to come back. And we're going to do. Uh, I don't have any news and gossip, I don't think. So no, predictions, probably. I like it. <laughs> hey there, good buddies. The handle's Wooly Bear. I'm a truck driving man, but I'm not that old school kind of truck driving man. No, I like to listen to podcasts while I'm driving through these great United States of ours. And my favorite podcasts in the world are from After Buzz TV. And why? Because <laughs> After Buzz TV is like a post-game wrap-up show for all your favorite TV shows. Like Jersey Shore, Dancing with the Stars, Mad Men, and a whole truckload more. I like listening to my Gossip Girl podcast, catching up with all my fellow fans and getting all the latest news and gossip. You know, I got some strong opinions. And After Buzz TV lets me share those opinions with thousands of other listeners. Holy, what a feeling. I used to doze off on those lonely stretches of road. And don't worry, I got the cruise control. But now I'm wide awake and listening to all the After Buzz TV goodness. Check them out. Give them a holler. And tell them the old woolly bear sent you. <laughs> but they usually have something. There you go. Oh, we're back. Okay. Here. So before we go into predictions, I want to say that um, I want to go off. I want to list the words created by Awkward. Oh, I love it. And this is a short list because <laughs> if I go back and rewatch all of season one, I have a I'll couple. bet you, yeah, I'll bet you the list is even longer. Tell me your couple and then I'll tell you the ones that I have that are not those Um two. Right in the beginning, starting off for New Year's Eve, sexified. Ooh, sexified. I sexified. think I was going to write on that. I think that. it was okay. Tamara. No, yep, yeah, Tamara was talking She's to got Jenna him, boy. about how she needed to dress up for the party and told her to be sexified, I think, is oh, when it came that in. That is awesome. And then the second, it was kind of more of a, a line. And I think Jenna said it right when she got to the party and had that really awkward interaction with Maddie. She said that she jet skied past heartache, <laughs> which <laughs> I love. I know. I totally remember that. Okay, so. Um, reaching back to to season one, I don't do you. I don't even remember what the definition of this was. <laughs> when they said, "Oh, you," she he totally is Anne Franking you. I. What was that outing? I I don't know. He's totally Anne Franking <laughs> you. I mean, we know what Anne Frank keeping you uh, keeping you tight locked yes. up. Yeah, keeping you a secret. Keeping you secret. Keeping you a secret. And freaking you. And freaking you. Oh, he's keeping you in the basement. <laughs> nobody sees. Nobody knows. Okay, he's not freaking you. Behind closed doors. And uh, and the letter was, of course, a carefrontation. Yes. <laughs> um, and then Tamara told, oh, God, I forget the guy's name. She said, this flirtationship is over. <laughs> Which is one of my favorite ones. Oh, and then she is. she was totally going to go commit legit. Commit legit. With oh, her guy, Tamara. I love these. I forgot about all right? of them. Right? And then, remember, Lissa said in the note for Jake to read to Jenna at her front door mm -hmm. to say, Jenna, you're a skitch. A skitch. Which is a skank and a bitch. It's very mad girls. Combined. Or mean girls of them. <laughs> yes, very mean girls of them. And then, of course, for her to, for Sadie to nickname Jenna Hamilton. Whoa. <laughs> and the reoccurring DTR. 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 Define, Define the, the relationship. relationship. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so uh, I think we will continue to create those words. <laughs> Predictions. And what do you now, have? you're after Buzz oh, TV man. predictions. Okay, let's 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 do it like like speed predictions. Okay, <laughs> predictions for Jenna. She's gonna hook up with Maddie again. She's gonna go. What about she, her and Jake? Uh, Is she gonna have sex with Jake? Yes, they're gonna have sex. What? I think they will. I think they will. I think they will. Somebody's gonna have sex with somebody. Some somebody's gonna have sex with Jake. Poor Jake. Ooh. <laughs> Who else could have sex with Jake? I don't know. You know what? Listen. Lissa, maybe he slips and goes back to the ex. Either that or what if Sadie becomes really evil and is like just a total Jenna Hamilton-like saboteur? She could, yeah. Oh, man, she totally <laughs> could. She could tell Jake some false stuff and yeah. turn... <gasps> oh, mm, double-crossing there. I like Sadie that. Sadie knows about I Maddie like and, and Hamilton. Yeah. That's true. Oh man, it's on. I like okay, that. Okay, so the next one is Sadie. Yep. So, so, so for Sadie, what's ahead? God, I really just. 
She's desperate. She she is really desperate. I think that she's going to make up with Lissa at some point, or they're going to bring in a new character, maybe. New mm. characters, new season. That can be fun. She's Ooh. going to need another minion, so. She's going to need another minion. Don't know. Can't, can't, I mean, she's willing to do her own dirty work, Yeah. but she will use a minion. Or maybe she'll be defriended or friended by Tamara. Oh, my god. Maybe she'll goodness. make a new friend. Tamara, uh, I hope she keeps bringing us these crazy one-liners. We love these words. <laughs> we just will watch her forever. <laughs> um, uh, Ming is in there making us laugh just like the rest of them. <laughs> she'll stick around. Yeah, I mean, and she's on lockdown, permanent lockdown. I'm surprised she's even able to make an appearance at these parties. <laughs> she's like, I'm being picked up. Yeah, before midnight. Well, anyway, there's our, our fade out music. Um, our prediction show. is that, you know what, I think this show is definitely going to be good for this whole season. Oh, yeah. Um, I think there'll be another season. Yeah, afterwards. I think we, yeah, we might be good for a while with Awkward because yeah. it's a lot of fun. Uh, we like it. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you. And um, I'm not so sure if about the timing, if it's going to be the same time, same bad channel, same bad time. I don't <laughs> know yet, but let's assume it is. 9 o'clock Pacific. See you next time. From Bing.com, executive producers mm. Maria Menunos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.